All right, so the women's draw for the Canadian Open has just come out. The men are playing in Toronto this year, and the ladies are playing in Montreal. Uh, they alternate every year. It's just the thing that they do. But let's go through the withdrawals, because we have a couple of names that are not playing in this tournament. So a few names that are not playing. Onsu Burr, she's pulled out with a knee problem. Krajikova has also pulled out. And Kudamatova has also been a late withdrawal, which we didn't find out, I guess, until the draw came out that she wasn't going to play either. So some names there that are not playing. Two big names, especially Jabur, a top 10 player not playing, which is a shame, because she had knee problems at the start of the year and they seem to be ongoing so here is the top of the draw we've got eight seeds in this one top eight seeds get a buy in the first round Shviontek she gets a buy in the first round she'll take on either Zoo or Pliskova in the second round, Pliskova made the semi-finals here last year, so could be an interesting matchup there. Then you've got Gracheva taking on Kostea. Winner of that will take on either Potapova or the number 14 seed Mukova in the second round. Mukova Sviantek third round. Rematch of the French Open final in the third round, potentially, if it happens. Then we've got one of the best first rounds going around. Number 11 seed Adaj Meyer, who took out Sviantek last year at this event. She takes on Bedosa in the first round. Winner of that takes on either Fernandez or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier taking on Svetolina. Winner of that will take on the number 8 seed Sakari in the second round. So some crazy names. Obviously, Sviantek Sakari being the big seeds. Mukova Hadaj Maya being the second big seeds. Pliskova, Bedosa, Svetolina, and even Fernandez. All very, very familiar names when it comes to playing in big tournaments and playing, you know, winning big tournaments. All right, going to the next section of the draw now, we've got Pagula, number four seed. She gets a bye in the first round. She'll play the winner of Pera or Nuskova in the second round. Then we've got Paolini taking on Vekic. Winner of that will take on one of the craziest first rounds in Keys taking on Williams. Venus Williams, number 13 seed Keys, who's been in some form lately, played well at Wimbledon a couple of weeks ago. Uh, then you got the number nine seed, speaking of Wimbledon, Von Drusseva, playing her first match since Wimbledon. She takes on Sharif in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Wozniacki or a qualifier in the second round. And yes, that is Caroline Wozniacki. She's back. She's going to play a couple of tournaments, see how she goes. Interesting to see if she does play against Von Drusseva in that second round. That'd be a fire. Then you got a qualifier taking on Marino. Winner of that will take on number six seed Goff in the second round. So, I mean, Von Drusseva versus Goff, third round could be fun. Uh, Keys versus Pagula could be fun too. And then all those players playing each other, potentially getting uh, Pagula taking on Goff if we're going by the seeds. If we're going by form, maybe Keys versus Von Drusseva in the quarterfinals. I mean, if you want to mix it up. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the Sviantek section. So we could be getting Sviantek taking on Pagula. We could be getting Sviantek taking on Goff. We could be getting Sviantek taking on Von Drusseva. How fun would that be getting the French Open and Wimbledon champions playing on a hard court, which is supposed to be a neutral surface. So that could be really fun. All right, next section of the draw We've got Garcia, the number five seed. She gets a bye in the first round. She'll take on the winner of a qualifier taking on Buskova. Then you've got Blinkova taking on Zong. Winner of that will take on either Mertens or the number 10 seed Kazakina in the second round. Then you've got the 16 seed Azarenka taking on Lynette. Winner of that will take on either Stevens or Kalanina. Then you've got Brady taking on Ostapenko. Winner of that will take on the number three seed Rebakina in the second round. Rebakina, Ostapenko, second round. Crazy. Azarenka, Rebakina, third round. Crazy. Uh, and then it kind of lightens up a little bit there before the semis. But this is an interesting section. I think tough for Rabakina. Garcia's not in great form. Kazakina, good opportunity to possibly make it, you know, to the quarterfinals, possibly beyond, depending on results. And then the last part of the draw, the last quarter of the draw, we've got Kvitova, the number seven seed. She'll take on either a qualifier or Andrescu in the second round. That'd be a great match. Andrescu versus Kvitova. Love that. Uh, then you've got Davis taking on a qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Bronzetti or the number 12 seed Bencic in the second round. Then you've got the number 15 seed Samson overtaking on Siniakova. Winner of that would take on either Kostyuk or Zhang in the second round. Then you've got Mardic taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number two seed Sabalenka in the second round. Uh, interesting section. I mean, Sabalenka's got a nice draw. I think she is the one that, she has the best, probably the easiest draw. She should make it the furthest. I mean, Kvitova in the quarter is not easy, but she should make the quarterfinals. Maybe Samson over gives her a bit of trouble, but she should make the quarterfinals. Uh, Benchich could be tough you know, for Kvitova, so there could be a Benchich versus Sabalenka match there. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the Garcia uh, Rabak in a section, so we could be getting Rabak in a Sabalenka in the semi-finals, which would be an awesome matchup. Uh, we've seen it a few times on hard court this year. We saw it at the Australian Open final. We saw it in the Indian Wells final. Could be getting it in a semi-final here if it meet if they meet up. Uh, of course, we could be getting Garcia versus Sabalenka if Garcia can find some form, uh, or maybe even getting a Kvitova Rabakina matchup if uh, you know, just like we did in Miami in the Miami final. Let me know in the chat, or if you're watching this later, let me know in the description or let me know uh, in the comments below who's going to win this. I'm going Sviantek because I'm boring. Um, I mean, it could be a random. This is, we have Georgie winning this two years ago. We had Halep winning it last year. A little random there with Halep because she wasn't really in good, well, she was kind of in okay form, but 
I guess, not expected to win, considering the names that were there. I, I reckon it's a great opportunity for Sviantec. Sabalenka, Rabakina, could they do it? Could it be someone maybe outside of that? Maybe someone like a Pagula or a Goff? Or, like I said, maybe Garcia gets good this week. Uh, but let me know down in the comments below if you're going to watch this later. Who do you think is going to win in Canada for the ladies this year?